India and over a billion people are cheering for Indian Space Research Organization and for Moon Mission just hours to go for Chandrayaan 3 on August 23rd to make that landing. And ISRO is keeping us updated constantly. Look at this. This is a lunar surface as is being seen from Chandrayaan 3. What a gorgeous image. Remember, this stunning visual being brought to you by Chandrayaan 3, updated by the Indian Space Research Organization. It's captured by the camera of the lander Vikram. Uh, the image was taken during the hunt for the landing spot. They have to ensure where they can land. Now, this, remember, looks like the darker side of the moon. Because uh, there have been earlier images that have been sun sent in where there was clearly uh, sunlight that could be seen on lunar surface. But here, you can see that uh, this is being seen as a uh, lander trying to avoid any boulders, trenches. Look at the sort of craters that are visible on the surface. Now, uh, in the backdrop of uh, Russia's spacecraft that has crashed, Vikram lander will try best. ISRO has ensured to give it all optimum abilities, capacities to be able to land on 23rd of August in the evening. And of course, we'll be live at that moment. But they have to look at a surface where, despite everything that they have, they must look for a surface area where they can land. And that is what the options are. And these are the images that have been captured off the surface uh, by the lander's uh, hazard detection and avoidance camera. But what a stunning image. Remember, this is from India. This is not from a Western developed nation. This is from an underdog India that wasn't considered as, as an as a space organization that could pull it off. But to even get this closer has taken years, not months, years of hard work, effort, experimentations, to be able to sit together to know if Chandrayaan-1 could discover water on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan-2 was orbiting and, uh, and got many data for the ISRO and for the country. Now Chandrayaan-3's main mission is to land. We are being told that the camera that assists in locating a safe landing area without boulders or deep trenches during the descent, and that is developed at the uh, Indian Space Research Organization. These are some of those images of the lunar far side area. This is the far side area we are being told, uh, captured by the lander hazard detection and avoidance camera, which is LHDAC. And of course, uh, ISRO ensuring that uh, while our hearts are beating very high about waiting for uh, the final landing on the lunar surface, they're constantly keeping us updated. They are keeping the thrill on by sharing nonstop uh, images as well. But remember, and ISRO must know this, its scientists must know that they are not alone in this. There are over a billion people. And while we are not celebrating at all that uh, Russia's lander has crashed, we all understand how significant and important hard work of all scientists, irrespective of countries, have been able to put forth in their space missions. But we do hope and pray that for India, we will be surely be landing on the lunar surface on 23rd of August at about 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Let's go across to Pramod Madhav for the latest. Yes, Pramod, go ahead. So I can say that uh, before the final landing, this is going to be perhaps likely the, the final images of the lunar surface before they attempt the landing. It absolutely is, Pooja, and already the uh, Israel scientists are very, 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 very clear that uh, uh, this time the, uh, the lander module has been given a little bit of more, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, commands that it can actually choose its own landing area, and not just that, it has to avoid uh, any kind of obstacle that is 30 centimeter or above, it could be a boulder, and make sure that it does not land into a dark uh, a crater, and that's what, this is what the job of lander hazard detection and avoidance camera is. This is supposed to actually inform the lander module about the area, how it is. In fact, in the three pictures that has been uh, like, uh, shared with us, we can see base L and uh, hail craters as well, and a barren land called Mare Hambertanium. So this is being read, I mean, uh, constantly being read by the cameras over there. It is being relayed to the uh, uh, command center in Bengaluru, thereby the uh, Israel scientists are giving uh, commands to the lander module. The very important aspect compared to last time is that they have to make sure that the lander module does not go out of spin. In fact, Luna 25 even also informed that actually it went 
uh, in, into an uncontrolled spin. Uh, the, the reports must be con uh, confirmed by Ross Cosmos, but that seems to be one of the reasons for losing and uh, uh, a small uh, uh, miscalculation in the thrust that was given to it led to its crash. And uh, that kind of thing is like already is, uh, has avoided many of that. But last time there was uh, an accumulation of error which led to it. This time, all those uh, uh, like, uh, in, uh, like, uh, criteria have been uh, studied and they have also made sure that they would avoid it. And that's the reason, even though we are taking nearly 40 days to land on the moon, each and every step is being very clearly calculated, Pooja. All right, Pramod Madhav will be tracking all the latest. Uh, Pramod, you uh, saw live the launch of Chandrayaan 3. I hope you'll get to see the successful landing as well as in when you'll be reporting live on that on August 23rd evening. And of course, India Today will be on top of that story. Stay tuned. These are possibly the final images uh, to check the area from where they can on which they can land. And then, of course, the landing on 23rd August.